Hey, welcome to today's video. So, I'm finally going to be giving you guys my full review of the LV pump. I know that this has just been a long time coming, um, but I really wanted to give it a full review, full try, full everything before I came on here and filmed um, a review for you guys because um, this pump is just there's kind of a lot to it. Um, it's small, but there's there's just a lot, a lot of kind of stuff, and I really wanted to give it like the full trial and error. So that being said, I think I'm going to start with uh, of what I love about the pump and then what I'm not so in love with about the pump um, and just kind of go from there. Um, I just, I feel like I have a lot to say, I think, about this pump and uh, it my initial thoughts and my first impression of this pump kind of like changed over time if that makes sense um so yeah i'm just gonna kind of like jump right into it but i did want to note that this pump does come with multiple uh flange sizes they only come with three 21 millimeter 24 and 28 millimeter um when you buy the pump so i only got one hub uh, when you buy the pump, it only comes with two sizes, and that's 24 millimeter and 28 millimeter. So you do have to buy the 21 millimeter separately. Um, I was able to get this one on Amazon. Uh, I think it was about $25, um, and it does come with two. Ow! I just hit my face. It does come with two flanges in here, uh, so that's really really nice. Not sure if you can see them because they're clear. I did want to note that. Um, loved that uh, you could get uh, more flange sizes. That being said, right off, 21 millimeter isn't um, my size. Um, I was still able to use the pump with the 21 millimeter, but I did end up buying a Free Me Fit Me 17 millimeter insert that fits perfectly fine into the 24 or 28 millimeter uh, flange. Um, I'm not like super in love with these, but I did get um, like a better output and just it was more comfortable with this insert than just using the flanges that LV gives you. Anyway, so one of the first things that I love about this pump is that it's so small and so light. Uh, I love like just how it looks, how it feels. Um, this down here is the bottle um, that actually collects the milk. This right here is your duck bill. And this is just kind of the top of the milk here. Once you take the duck bill off, it kind of has this little spout so you can just pour the milk out. Um, some people have said online that, you know, you can't really get every single drop out of these pumps or these pumps these bottles i do find that to kind of be the case but if you take off this top you can totally get every little drop um so that's not really a big problem for me uh these duck bills seem to be fine um they do go on a certain way um i like them i feel like it's pretty good quality and then this just clicks right in here this little button is to release it and then the flange um, is just this, whoops, this whole section is the flange. And then up here is the backflow protector that sits right on here as flat as possible. And then this whole unit clicks into here. I do have a whole unboxing video, which I will link up above, that has a little bit more details as I'm opening it. Um, this is the power button down, yep, down here. This little button here, I don't know if you can see it, but... This little button uh, will alert you to, or will let you know if you're using the left or the right breast, so it um, syncs up with the app. Uh, one of the things about the LV app is I'm not really, I, I didn't really like the LV app. Um, I feel like it was inaccurate. Um, it, it just didn't really follow how much milk. It can like apparently tell you how much milk you're pumping and it'll show you on the app. I don't feel like that was accurate. Um, and if you walk away from your phone, um, the app stops working. So I feel like that, I don't know, it, that to me just was annoying. Um, yeah, you do usually have your phone on you, but uh, for somebody who doesn't really have pockets all the time because I wear leggings, it was kind of 
I didn't really love it. But I do like that they have the app option. Um, that is a nice option to have. I feel like it just needs a little bit more tweaking. Um, anyway, so onward to that. So this will just let your app know which breast you're using. Then up here is the start and stop mode and increase suction and decrease suction. There's two little buttons. I will say that when it is in your shirt, it's very easy to feel these buttons because um, they stick up and they're kind of like sticky. So um, it is really easy to feel those buttons and I do really like that. As I said, it's super, super quiet. You probably can't even hear it if I turn it on. Yeah, it's super quiet. I think that it's a great option. I love how quiet it is. Um, perfect, perfect for like being at work or just out somewhere where you like can't make a ton of noise with a noisy pump. Um, it's awesome how quiet this actually is. Um, one of the things that I did like, which I don't have it, um, is that it comes with, when you buy the LV, it comes with spare parts. And um, I only bought one hub, as I said, so I'm not 100% sure if when you buy two hubs, if it comes with two sets of spare parts, I assume, but um, I'm not really 100% on that. But I just bought one hub and um, it came with a spare set of parts. So if I technically, if I just found um, this part of the pump online, I could have uh, two, two sets, so two hubs essentially. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool because um, this is a very expensive pump. Um, it is really nice that LV put that as a feature. I also love that the charge port here um, has the little uh, protective spigot thing and it does charge relatively fast and I feel like it also um, has a pretty decent battery life. I will say that um, if this has been sitting for a while, the battery life doesn't stay there. Um, I wasn't using it for a couple of weeks and came back to it and noticed that it had to be recharged again. Um, so that's just something to note. Uh, it's not really a big deal, um, but it's just something to note. The other thing that I really like is that most of these parts are all dishwasher safe. Um, so that could be really useful for somebody. I don't put mine in the dishwasher. I put them in my Webby sterilizer, which I've talked about before. I will link that up above if you guys are interested. Um, a lot of people ask me what I use to sterilize my parts. Um, the only part that can't be sterilized or necessarily washed is this actual hub. Um, down here, this little black piece, you can wipe this like a damp cloth on um, this kind of ring that you can see in there. There's like a blue kind of ring here. That can actually be taken out so you can wash that, but you can't really take this whole piece apart. Um, you would essentially ruin it. One of the things that I kind of don't really love is that milk does kind of get stuck in here. I did contact LV and ask them if that was normal and they said it kind of wasn't that um, milk shouldn't really be getting up in there, but that you can wash it um, and sometimes it does happen, but I can see right now there's like dried milk right here on this black thing, which I'm not really too excited about because I feel like then you could cause some bacteria in there. Um, it That I like didn't really love um, and we did try to do some trouble, troubleshooting with me, which I love that LV did that. Their customer service is so, so great. They also sent me um, a different pair of the duck bills because um, the milk, when I was first using this, the milk kept splashing like up into my breast. And I, the first time I actually used it, I was soaked. Um, and that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to wait to give my review um, was because I was having a lot of kind of trouble using the pump. Um, and she, the customer service lady actually was said that it had something to do with my um, duck bill here and that it was a little bit too closed so the milk like wasn't actually going in so she ended sending she ended up excuse me sending me some new ones and it totally fixed the problem I was I was super grateful because otherwise I was I was actually like getting disappointed and I was like wow I'm actually gonna return this um, I feel like it wasn't worth it but it did um, end up solving the problem. Um, I still kind of felt like that milk was still splashing up and getting into this area. Um, she said that was kind of normal. 
and I don't really love that. Um, I was sort of like, eh. Um, I never noticed milk getting like in here or up in this area. I never noticed any of that. I did, one other thing I want to mention that I'm not really too keen about is like how short this um, flange thing is. Um, I definitely felt my nipple like touching the top of this and I feel like um, like if you compare it to just the length of the Pumpin' Pals, it's a lot shorter. Like it doesn't seem like it is, but it might just be like a couple centimeters, but those couple centimeters like are definitely needed. So I really feel like this is too short and it would be nicer if it was just like maybe a half inch or even an inch longer. Um, it's, it's just a little bit on the short side and also like there's just a tiny hole here that the milk can go into and I have a pretty strong let down and so whenever I would let down with this the milk did kind of still splash back a little bit even with that new duck bill being replaced um and I think a lot of that had to do with because the flange kind of neck was really short the other thing is that um when it's in your shirt I didn't really notice that you had like massive boobs I didn't really care um I loved that it was super convenient and that you could literally just walk around and do whatever you wanted. That was like the most biggest selling point of this pump was that you could almost do absolutely everything with this pump. Like you could make dinner, you could be on the computer, you could be driving, you could be outside and like not have to carry things around. Like you could be working. It was, it totally changed the game for me. The only thing is that you really couldn't do any bending like you had to you really had to kind of be like a robot um and i did also speak to customer service about that and they did some more troubleshooting with me um and they really said to have like a tight tight bra to keep things up there but if my bra was too tight then i wouldn't get a really good output so it was like kind of this weird like space that i sort of had to find where my perfect setting was with this pump um and i ended up really finding out that like if i was moving around i couldn't be moving around a lot and i definitely couldn't be bending over to like pick up things i had to kind of even be careful like about raising my hand and i tried different bras um they even had like a bra extender clip that came with it and that didn't really seem to help um, but I did still love that I could stand up and like get things done. It was just like I couldn't get as much stuff done as I kind of thought that I would. Um, when I was first wearing this, like I said, I got soaked, but that was because I think because I was like bending over and like doing stuff and just I was doing a lot more because I was like, wow, like I'm pumping and I don't have anything attached to me. This is great. But I did end up finding out that it just for me, um, I couldn't, I really couldn't do a lot of bending. And I did do some research and some others were saying that um, they, they noticed the same thing as well. You really couldn't do any bending and you just kind of had to like stay as upright as possible um, and sort of like figure it out. I do know that the learning curve on this pump is very big. I will say that. It took me a while to figure out, you know, what I liked and what I didn't like. That's kind of why this review is taking so long to come out. Um, I did notice that I got better output with this flange insert. That being said, I still, with this pump, pumping for 30 minutes on it, um, didn't get nearly as much milk as I do with um, my Pump and Pal flanges or my Sonata or even like any of my other pumps that I use regularly. I, I didn't get anywhere near the amount. That being said, I would still use the pump because it was great for if I like had people over or something. Um, it was nice to just like pump and not have to hook up to anything. Um, if I was at like a work thing or something and just needed to pump to kind of like feel um, less engorged, it was a great pump for that. I definitely wouldn't use this pump as an exclusive pumper every single at at every single pump session um, but that's just me personally like this pump might work perfectly for you um, the suction I feel like is 
pretty good. It's It can get really intense. I was only on like suction one and two, um, and if I went higher, it was painful. Um, and I have kind of done a little research and seen that other people have said that this pump isn't as painful as the Willow. I haven't used the Willow, so it's hard for me to kind of compare. I do really want to try and get my hands on that and compare both the Willow and the LV, but they're both really expensive, um, or the Willow is pretty expensive, and you can't just buy one hub. Hub? Hoo <laughs> um, So, you know, we'll see. I'll try and get my hands on the Willow if you guys um, really want me to compare or review both of them. Um, I am really interested because I know with the Willow you can, like, lean back, and there's a lot more that you can sort of do with it. But... I've also heard that the suction on the Willow is super, super intense and people can't even handle it. Um, that being said, I feel like the LV is a lot gentler. It definitely ranges between Baby Buddha and the Motif Luna. It does have more of a vibration, um, but it is still a pretty decent pull. You know, just to kind of like wrap up, I guess, my thoughts on this pump. Do I use this pump every day? No. Um, I definitely use it occasionally. For me, I'm super happy that LV allows you to buy just one hub because I think if I had bought both of them at $500, I think I would have returned it just because I don't use it enough um, to kind of feel that my money was well spent, if that makes sense. Um, that being said, the convenience of it is totally worth it. Um, I think that this pump would, would be really great for somebody who actually is a 21 millimeter, a 20 uh, four millimeter and a 28 millimeter. The inserts for me just aren't really the best. So I like really wasn't getting great output, but I think if somebody has, um, those flange sizes, I think it could be really, really great for you. Um, I did also lube up the flanges with coconut oil and it was fine. Um, it's just, it's not in my size. So I think that was kind of like my big issue and also why it took me so long to get this review out was because it wasn't in my size. So I felt like I couldn't really give it a full review, but then I remembered that I had these, um, and it definitely was a lot better with these, uh, because they were my size obviously, but I feel like if LV came out with some more sizes of flanges, I think um, I would be more apt to use this pump. That being said, I don't use this pump for um, my uh, milk donation to the milk bank because you can't get it fully clean because um, some of the milk does splash up here and that can cause a little bit of bacteria. Um, so I can't actually sanitize this so that I don't use any of the milk that I pump in this for the milk bank. I do use it for just regular full-term babies or a local donation um, because I can just clean this with like a little um, wipe or some soap and um, a little bit of water. Like you really don't want to get this wet, but you can clean it a little bit, but I just can't sanitize it enough for a preemie baby, if that makes sense. So for that reason, like it does also limit my use to it. You know, that's just kind of something to note. That being said, um, I would still use this like if we had a baby, I would totally still use this milk. It would be completely fine for a full-term baby. Yeah. But overall, um, like, I really, I love the LV customer service. The app, on the other hand, like, wasn't, I wasn't really a fan of. Um, it just, I don't know. It, it needs a lot of tweaking, um, but they, they definitely have a good thing going with the app. I just think it needs, it needs some updating and tweaking. Um, I would be really nice if you could you know, not have your phone with you and then like you come back to the app and it's still like taking, you know, the, your time and seeing how many ounces you're getting. I do like that it tracks your ounces, like that's really cool, but then I found that it wasn't really that accurate. So, you know, it was kind of like, okay, which, you know, which one is more worth it? Like me just looking at it or me like opening up my phone and then being like, oh, okay, it has to like recalibrate and it would like take a little while and it was, and the range like wasn't even that far like I would literally just walk into the next room and then like it would you know stop recording what I was pumping so that was like kind of annoying um but I love that you can just buy one hub um I love that you get um, multiple parts um I love that it has the backflow protector I love how quiet it is it's super super light um, I do feel like the parts, these parts are fairly easy to clean. Um, this bottle does hold five ounces, so I love that. 
and uh, it's it's a great little pump. I think it would definitely work for the on-the-go mom. I don't think it's really great for exclusively pumping people, but who knows, like, it might work fine for you. I, the convenience of it is 100% awesome, and I really think that in a couple of, even like months or years, they'll totally have kinks and stuff sort of worked out with it, uh, because I think this is really great, and I think it's it's headed in the right direction of like, we don't need to have tubes and stuff hooked up for us. But for somebody who is an exclusive pumper, like I need that sort of output to come out because if, if I don't, you know, have the milk all come out, then I get mastitis and like huge engorgement and you know, nobody really wants that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, I'm so sorry it took me forever to have it come out, but I really wanted to like you know, really try this pump, and it wasn't necessarily on my top, you know, three pumps that I love, but I do really love the convenience of it, and the idea around it is awesome, and I'm hoping that in the future, LV comes out with, you know, some even better options for us as pumpers, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if there's anything else you want me to review, or try out, or check out, or whatever, like definitely comment down below, and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next.